They not ready. They not ready when this hit the streets. Hey, hey, creators. Welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis, the artist. Y'all, it's a full day in the studio today. We are doing absolutely everything. First of all, what I'm super excited about is uh, the candles. Okay, so I gave the Patreon community the update about what's about to go down, but what I have with me today is the label sample. So your girl is rock, rocking her full moon shirt, y'all. Today is May 26th. Have y'all been here? Have y'all been feeling the energy? Okay, it is full. It's a full moon. Okay, lunar eclipse, everything. I'm, I'm feeling the vibes, but so the people who are gonna be making the labels for the candle, first of all, if you are new here, welcome boo, okay? Your girl is over here in Seattle, Washington. Um, and I actually recently completed a three year journey of painting all 12 of the zodiac signs. So now those zodiac signs are gonna be printed on altar candles that's gonna be available for you all coming soon, okay? I've been sharing with my Patreon community all the behind the scenes process that's been going on, but I figure I'd come through, give y'all a little sneak peek since now the patrons know they've seen the video of when I went to go pick up the candles. Uh, and now you all can see all the labels, okay? So everything is gonna be made right out here in Seattle. The company that I'm working with who's gonna make the labels is Richmark. They're actually right out here in Capitol Hill and they are amazing. They literally do labels for everybody, okay? Like weed companies, beer, candles, everything. So let me show y'all some of the labels. So here are a few of the examples that they sent me. I actually really like this one. One, because it's long and I feel like that would actually fit perfectly on the candle. I think that arch set is really cool. These are actually the samples, y'all. So if you put that label on there, I feel like that height is actually really nice. They have some that are, so this one actually has, has a gold metallic vibe. These are embossed, which I think is really cool. Like it's kind of elevated, if you can see that. These are metallic. You can see the shininess. Yeah, literally we have every label known to mankind. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want it to be, okay? But that's for a whole nother conversation, okay? I'm excited because, first of all, I saw all y'all love in the feedback on the last uh, video. I see that there's quite a few 80s babies in the house, okay? We got some millennials. I'm with it, the love is real. We are working on so many different things in the studio, all the admin stuff, okay? I don't wanna fool y'all on the gram thinking that your girl's just out here painting and sipping tea all day. <laughs> there's actually quite a bit of behind the scenes stuff that is going on so as you all can probably see those are the boxes okay those are the boxes that's going out to um, some influencers that I reached out to and I saw that y'all were interested in becoming AO babes okay we actually like building out an area on the website for that let's figure that out so I want to get those sent out to the ladies and I would also love to get some stuff sent out to y'all but you know like what I've been thinking is I definitely want to prioritize the people who's one already been supporting me right so uh, we actually been going back on our website and seeing folks who've made three or more purchases on the website and actually like inviting them um, to maybe join the ambassador program so I can send them out some goodies. But June is gonna be lit, y'all. I'm giving away a whole lot of stuff. As I'm just transitioning into this new space, it's helpful to actually get rid of quite a bit of stuff when it comes down to prints, pens. So I'm doing tons of giveaways. June is my birthday, okay, June 5th over here. Let me hear where all the other Gemini's at in the comments, okay? June Gemini. So my birthday's coming up. June is just gonna be packed, okay? So if you are not a part of the newsletter, you should definitely join because that's where I'm gonna be talking about all the giveaways and giving people uh, prints and pens and all sorts of stuff and, and letting folks know a little bit more about what's gonna go down with the ambassador programs. So right now, I'm just printing out some labels for that. And I actually use ShipStation, y'all, if anybody's curious about um, the software that I use is super helpful. It keeps everything nice and clean. It's synced with my Squarespace online store, so I don't even have to manually type in stuff. It's already set to go when somebody buys something on my website. 
but back to the other side of the creative process outside of business, painting. I actually officially started work on uh, the summer scarf, so I'm gonna be working on painting that later today. So for now, I'm gonna get the business stuff done. I'm gonna check in with y'all and we can do some fun painting stuff. working in the center area for the sunflowers. I feel like this design is giving me all the boho hippie vibes. I think actually when I'm done with it, I'll do a photo shoot um, in a sunflower field. Y'all know I absolutely love sunflowers and I feel like this is the perfect energy to give for summer. It's make it colorful and bright, y'all. Like, man, coming out of everything with the pandemic and just the life itself, <laughs> Color is always the medicine and the healer for me. So I'm trying to bring that vibe with the sunflowers and bringing that in. So I really wanted this center part to be um, similar to like a pink sunset since we are in Gemini season. Y'all know the Gemini painting that I created, she has the pink fluffy cloud. So I was like, let's keep that energy going. So I have this center piece, but you, as you can see, I didn't carry that throughout because really, it's so funny, I feel like I'm just learning more about the process the more that I do the background, because of course I like painting the, the background first, but there's so much that I cover up, and I'm like, there's gonna be so much of this that you're not even gonna see. So this is the center part where you're really gonna see the background, that's why I took a lot more time to work in the clouds and to have, have some space where you can actually see, see the pink clouds. But the rest, when I work in the petals for the sunflowers, you aren't even gonna see it. So right now, I got this burnt umber going with the center, um, and I like to add the, the fluid matte medium, well, matte or gloss, it kinda depends on whatever you like, but it helps the paint stretch a lot, a lot more. Uh, I was actually on the call with the patrons during the Create Date, and April mentioned this, that um, Golden, like when you go to the art supply store, they just, the stock is so low. I haven't been there in a while, but the last time I was there, yeah, it was definitely really low. So if you feel like you low on your paints and you want them to stretch a little bit more, uh, I always add the fluid, the fluid matte mediums to it which helps it stretch quite a bit. So before I had even paint it around these to solidify like the center part of the sunflower. I always trace them out with a little bit of chalk because I'm not really sure where I want it to be, you know? So I'm kind of just laying it out and figuring figuring out where I want the flower. So for example, I'm probably not even gonna feel this. Like this is giant. So if this is the center of the sunflowers, the petals are gonna come out here, which would really cover that up. So we are gonna scratch that one. We are not gonna use that center. This one feels good, but I'm actually gonna make it probably a little smaller. Just so by the time that petals come up, it'll be up there and it won't block this flower. But I do wanna have some layers though. You know, like I wanna have some smaller sunflowers behind it and then as they come closer, they come bigger. And I feel like that's, that's really the effect that I'm going for where there's like a whole lot of dimension in the center, they're smaller and they're coming out to you like you in this, in this portal, in this vortex of just, good vibes and the flowers and the pink. I wanted to do teal for the 
for the leaves. I thought that'd be different. Like, you know, we always see the typical sunflower with the green leaves, but I absolutely love teal. It's one of my favorite colors to paint with. And I love this color palette together, like a sunset color palette, and then with those pops of blue and teal. So that's why I decided to go with that instead of the normal green. Good morning. We are back in the studio. No, it's not morning. <laughs> it is deep into the afternoon. Oh, I'm so excited. I just got off the call with my girl, okay? With my friend Jeanette. She is absolutely amazing. She's a super dope photographer that's out here in Seattle. I think I told her about you all before um, because she also did the photo shoot um, for Twyla's jewelry campaign that I was a part of. So I did a photo shoot with her, actually me and Andy. So she specializes in boudoir photo shoots okay so i treated myself for my 30th birthday did like a full sensual self-love embracing my body y'all it has been a journey to um loving myself and accepting myself and truly stepping into my self worthiness okay so that was a pivotal year for me right like saturn return your girl your girl 30th so i wanted to honor that time with her and now She's gonna be doing the photo shoot um, with me for the candles. <sighs> Y'all, like, uh, I'm super excited. The brainstorming session is in full effect. We did a full, a full just talk through of everything that's gonna go down. So y'all know I'm gonna have y'all part of the process. Okay, I'm gonna have you part of the process. We're gonna do the photo shoot here in the studio sometime in July. So stay tuned for that. Um, look, let me bring y'all over here. Why is, like, shit is everywhere? Y'all, like, what is up with the damn post office people? It's like always something with them. Why did my box come like this? I probably have to blur out my address, but it's clear that somebody opened this. Yeah, we just gone. And it's like, who do I even talk to about <laughs> Like, I don't know. Do I talk to Vistaprint? Do I talk to UPS? I have no idea, but maybe because it was the paper tape it opened. I feel like sometimes that paper tape don't uh, do not do what it's supposed to, but the cards have arrived for the patrons. So this month, the patrons, their perks is gonna be um, all chain, all chain inspired, which is inspired by uh, the one year anniversary of the BLM mural. Let's get these opened. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> not ready. They not ready with this in the streets. First of all, put the scissors down, okay, for you hurt yourself, okay? This looks so good. This looks so good. Can y'all see this? These are gonna be the greeting cards that is going out in the month of June. Actually, towards the end of my, I don't know, anywho, this is gonna be the next batch of greeting cards for the patrons. So usually the patrons in the family tier get a three greeting card set during the month of June. I'm doing a fourth one. We're going to throw in a bonus one. And it's, so that's only during the month of June. The fourth bonus greeting card is going to be the limited edition V. So of course I was a part of helping uh, paint the Black Lives Matter mural that is in Capitol Hill. The first time we painted it was June 11th. We repainted it in October. If you want to see the whole video about that, I created an entire video that's on my page. So my first 50 patrons actually got prints of edition one of the V. So now nobody has edition two. Okay, I'm finally making edition two available. And this is only gonna be for the patrons who are signing up for the family tier. So if you are already a family tier patron, first of all, thank you boo, okay? Use the real one. You already getting this, okay? You already getting this. Um, if you are new, this will be a part of your package if you join during the month of June, okay? So y'all, it is gonna go down in June. I'm kind of letting y'all know this first, okay? Look, <laughs> is it too team getting an exclusive? Um, that one in the classic trap conscious. So this is, oh, this is our perks for the month of June. It's lit. Oh, it's lit. 
Y'all know I stay hype, okay? <laughs> Can I be my own patron though? Like it's so funny because I feel like my patrons, um, the goal of me giving them the greet, like a greeting card set is for them to gift them to family or friends or like write one of their loved ones a, a little nice note. <laughs> They be keeping them, okay? They be keeping them. I see, I see y'all out there. Felicia, look, Tipton, I see y'all keeping, keeping your green cards. <laughs> look, sharing is caring. Share your damn green cards, okay? <laughs> look, what are we working on today, y'all? I figured today that I would uh, show y'all some of the golden acrylics, okay? Your girl is themed today. She has her golden shirt on. Y'all, I was gonna do a whole separate video for this golden review, but I'm like, you know what? Let me be honest with myself, okay? I don't even want my channel to be product reviews, okay? I'm not here to chase whatever numbers or views or whatever so that I can have a certain number of people here. I really want people who hear, who hear, who's here. <laughs> what the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> I'm an artist, okay? I'm an artist, not a teacher. I teach sometimes, your girl has like workshops sometimes, but I'm really, I'm really trying to cultivate a community of people who are interested in my work, okay? Um, I, but I know that there are a lot of artists who watch my channel, who follow the channel, so I'm super grateful for y'all. So I definitely wanna offer some tips and, and some value as well. So today, I am bringing out the Golden So Flat Acrylics, y'all. But I just looked on the tube. There are some amazing videos out there. If you really want like a thorough breakdown, actually, Golden has one on their channel. It's like a 30 minute video, breaking down all the colors, the mats, all the things. But I know y'all here for the, I know y'all here for the vibes, okay? So I can give y'all a little entertainment, see how I feel about the paints and a little bit of my opinion on them and to see if it's worth your money. I can tell you right now, okay? It's probably already gonna be worth your money because everything that Golden does is absolutely amazing. Like, I am a Golden fan girl, okay? I should probably, you know, say, um, first of all, I don't get any money when y'all buy Golden stuff. So that's not even like what it is. But I am a part of Golden Artist Educator Program. So I was a part of their program where you fly out to New Orleans. They, you know, show you about the process of the, the paints and how to use them and like, workshops it was absolutely amazing and it made me fall even deeper in love with golden just how much time and care uh and research okay <laughs> like <laughs> and science that is that's behind this stuff y'all okay let's open them up i only have four colors here it's not a whole lot so let's play it'll be super quick i'm gonna probably time stamp this stuff so y'all can jump around a little bit but let's hop into it class is in session so just to let y'all know uh golden did send me these paints so I didn't purchase these with my own money. Um, and they sent me four colors. These are the colors that I got. I know that I'm gonna mispronounce them, so I'ma just have them up here on the screen for y'all, but um, not really colors that I use a lot, but I think I can make them work. The thing is, I'm not even a huge fan um, of matte. I actually like the, the gloss finish of Golden's regular style of paints but this could be great for somebody who does love matte. And so one thing that they actually put on this slip is that the so flat, it makes it easier to photograph and it looks fantastic online. So in this digital world that we're living in, I think that is actually fantastic for these. And the thing is, when it comes down to some of the higher gloss finish pieces, obviously you have the, the glare, right? It's really glary, it's really shiny. Um, so depending on what sort of light you're in, you're gonna have a lot of that light bouncing off. But with the so flat mats, this is the swatches that they sent. These were hand painted on. You can see that there is like literally no glare on that. Like that is really nice. So you're gonna really be able to get the true colors no matter what. And ooh, I'm just loving this, okay? <laughs> like I'm loving the colors. So let's break out some of them. And actually they sent us a nice little um, workshop board where we can pour the colors out. So let's see, first of all, these containers, let's open these up. I'm gonna link some links below of some other videos that I watched that I thought were really great because they'll probably uh, do a lot better than me going, going into detail. But one of the artists said that she doesn't like the jars. I actually really like the jars. The tubes for me, y'all, I jack up the tubes. I feel like the cap can never really get back on. So the jars is really nice. I think of anything with the jars, you just wanna make sure that you're keeping that rim decently clean because I find like with the jars, it's hard to open it because it damn near gets like glued shut, you know? April, one of the patrons was asking about the scent. 
yeah, it's strong, okay? It's, it's giving me chemical vibes. <laughs> I think you definitely want to be in a well-ventilated space to be working with this. And the thing is, when I opened it, it wasn't too harsh, but when I just gave it a whiff, it definitely seems a lot more potent <laughs> than Golden's regular paints. Now I'm just coming straight out the bottle, you know, but how I was telling y'all before, you can definitely mix this stuff with the, with the mediums. So some of the mediums that I use is the fluid matte medium. And I'm like, for me personally, I'm not really even particular about how the finish is because at the end of the day, I'm gonna put a gloss varnish over it anyway. And for me, when I'm selling my pieces to collectors, it's just really easy for them to clean it when it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And to me, I just like a gloss finish. I think it really looks good. This is actually really smooth though. I'm really, really liking what's going on over here. So right now, based on the angle that I have you all let, you can see that it's glossy, but of course it's wet, right? So let's, let's give it some time to dry and see how it is. Where's our pool tag? Where's our pool tag? I'm not scraping off the extra paint because I don't want it to get dirty. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the rim of the jar clean. But look, there's, there's paint on that now. Waste not, want not, get all that. There we go. Ooh, I like this black. Like that black is black. Oh, that is like the deepest black I've seen. Probably even deeper than the carbon black. Now I love working with carbon black, but this is, this is super opaque. And it's like one stroke that is solid. Especially over white. You know, whenever you paint black over a white surface, like you can still see the white underneath. Yeah, no, this is like midnight. Okay, okay, Golden, okay. You better come through with the opacity. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you see this area drying here? Yeah, that's matte for sure. Okay, let's get this pink. There we go, there's our pool tab. <laughs> they must have missed one. They missed one, it's all right. Waste not, won't not, scrape it. Ooh, there's a little bit of still black in there, because of course, Black is bold, so let's get us a clean brush, a decently clean brush. I don't have, I literally, literally was painting earlier today. Don't even have clean brushes. Here we go, I got it, nah, I got it. I like a, I like a nice flat brush. And this is good and clean and dry. Oh, that's opaque, yeah. That's, that's giving me the opacity for sure. It's not really thick. I would say it's like, when it comes down to the thickness, it's about in between their regular paint, like these here, and the fluid. Cause it's definitely giving me a little bit of drip. Okay, so I think it's about right in between. Yeah, y'all, if you are looking for the opacity, this is the way to go. time let that dry but ooh, I'm loving this I don't know if you can see it in this camera over here 
this is drying matte, y'all, for real, for real. I mean, for sure, like you can tell that the yellow and the green isn't as opaque, which makes sense, right? So Golden has these black lines on all the jars to let you know how, uh, how opaque or translucent it is. So you can tell that clearly these have a little bit more translucency compared to this pink where you can barely see that black line. So these are really good. Let me see, I definitely smell the green. I feel like now I'm, now I'm gonna be smelling everything for the patrons. You know, each one's a, a little bit different. I feel like the, the green was strong, but this yellow is super mild. It actually smells just like um, the Golden's paint in general. Okay, yeah, no, that, that black is strong for sure. I'm gonna do just like a, a little waft. I mean, it's like, it's definitely not even, like literally if I, <laughs> I rarely smell my paint, so I feel like if the Patreon community didn't even mention it, I probably wouldn't have even considered to include the scents in here, but yeah, no, it's definitely not something that's gonna give you a headache or cause you any troubles while you're painting. And if you all haven't heard, Golden also has open medium acrylics, which are really good. Like if you, the thing is for me, I don't use these a lot because I actually do like the drying time of the regular Goldens. I really don't, I really don't prefer for it to be slowed down, but if you want acrylics that behave a little bit more like oils and it's a little bit of a slow and drying time, these opens would probably definitely be a great option for you. So let's give this paint some time to dry and I'll come back and give you all my final thoughts. Okay, y'all, we are back. Let's see how it looks. Mmm. Okay, y'all see it over there? Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely delivers on its promise of so flat. It's super bright in my, let me turn this down a little bit. Oh yeah, this is hella bright. <laughs> This is hella bright, <laughs> can y'all, okay. Uh, yeah, definitely have my setting super high, but it's definitely matte and flat. So I feel like it delivers on its promise for sure. It's just literally another option. It's definitely worth the time and consideration for sure. Um, the jars, I actually really love the jars. I think it's nice and easy. You can pour it out. I feel like it could be great if it was in a tube. I think the tubes, like we're just super used to that. I've also seen a lot of artists, how they hang their tube paint. They clamp it and hang it like that, which I'm actually thinking about doing something similar in my studio. But I think of anything, I don't know if you all can hear the, it has some good texture to it, some good tooth. I feel like this would be perfect to lay down as like your prep surface and you can even sketch on top of it. The thing, but one thing that I don't like about matte is like if you scratch it, I don't know if y'all can see that. Just like when it comes down to like fingerprints and stuff, like it is, that's definitely an issue. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, there we go. But hopefully you're not gonna be scratching your piece, but we do sometimes, right? Like if you if you bump it against something, but I don't think that's a, that's a golden thing. That's just like matte in general. Even if you paint in your home, like the walls in your house, I don't even like uh, the option at Home Depot of eggshell. It's like, yeah, no, fingerprints are gonna be everywhere. But when something is glossed, you can just wipe it away. Um, but that's just my personal preference, right? I think if you love matte, if you like gouache, I think it's definitely gonna be the way to go. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up my little faux sense of what I think of the So Flat. Um, the thing is, look, your girl might be biased because I really do love everything golden and just the options that they have is pure insanity. This is actually something that we made um, during the GAEP program in New Orleans. And so it just shows you all the different viscosities that they have from heavy body to high flow, to inks, uh, to open medium, to like, yeah, actually this is the, one of their watercolor options. This is the matte, the high flow, yeah. The thing is, they just continue to impress when it comes down to more options. And as artists, as creators, we just like to have hella options, okay? So yeah, your girl is about to eat cause I'm hungry. <laughs> Y'all wanna see what I got? 
Mmm. Am I making y'all hungry? <laughs> Girl had to run and get her some pizza, okay? I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here though. Hopefully me reviewing a little bit of the golden um, paints and telling y'all a little bit more about some tips and tricks. <laughs> Trip tips and tricks that help me. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Okay, if you got any questions, drop them down in the comments. Happy to expand upon it. But y'all, to be real though, I'm really just trying to figure out where I want my, my channel to go. Kind of what I was sharing more about the channel update from some videos ago. Um, for me, it's like, Yo, I'm here to paint. I'm here to paint. I'ma share the keys here and there when I can, but I just don't want y'all to like always expect that. So yeah, mostly I'm here just sharing my work, sharing my studio vlogs and sprinkling in some tips and tricks every now and again, um, whenever it comes to me. So thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you are not on the newsletter, this is the month to join y'all. Get on the newsletter. I'm gonna be sharing all the information about the Patreon, the AO Ambassadors, the Ben Bridge Jeweler campaign, and another special announcement that's coming. So make sure you head on down to the link description and get that info. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, if you liked it, what you gonna do? Like it, okay? <laughs> I'll see you all next week. Y'all, ooh, I need to, I need to reply to her email. <laughs>